we're dealing with here. Before we dive right into this video, I do want to let you guys know that we do have a Patreon account and all the proceeds from that account will be going into upgrading the ceiling in the shop. So uh, jump down there to the description and hit that link and be one of the first people to sign up on that if you want to support your boys. Come on in. Come on in, mate. What you got going on here? I uh, just, you know, just we cleaned the shop up a little bit. We're kind of proud of it. Let's see yeah. it. Look, 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 look. Look how clean it is. Look, got rid of all the junk. Oh, is that a walkway? Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, without looking at the computer to it and scanning it, we don't do any mechanical work, you know, if it was something simple. Y'all hear that? No mechanical work, ever. Nate, what are we doing with uh, with the, this Bronco cow? We're we gonna cut a new design into it or something? Yeah, I was gonna cut like a little square into it for Mike. <laughs> yeah, we had to lay the decals on the CNC machine because this is the flattest thing in the shop. But look how clean it is over here. Like this ain't even done yet. This ain't even done done. We still gotta, you know, wash the floor, coat the floor, paint the walls, do the ceiling, but. Uh, the organization. Yeah, that's really what it is. Organization has has stepped up. This is what I'm really happy about right here. Uh, as you can see, we have here wrenches, eight millimeters. Look at that, just full. And this one's my favorite. Look, one, two, three, four, five of them. And then here you got, you know, your half inch sockets, your three quarter inch sockets. You know, you got all these different. Uh, hex sockets, impact attachments, three quarter inch extensions, three quarter inch ratchets. Look at that. It's got a few in there. Uh, you know, it's it's very uh, convenient to do it like this because, you know, you don't have to sit there and look through stuff. And uh, being it, uh, that it's a family business, you know, we use each other's stuff all the time. It's not like we're a bunch of strangers working in one place and we fight and like if you touch it like if they ask me for one of my wrenches i can't say no and vice versa also uh, i do not have the key to this toolbox it's somewhere at the house i need to find it but i also set up this box right here so if you look right here we've got grinding wheels wire wheels drill bits you know stuff like that chisels uh look at the measuring tapes i've never seen all our measuring tapes in one spot like that. Like I didn't realize we had that two, much. Three, four, five, six. So all all the brothers could be measuring something at one time. Yeah. Uh, but this is the beginning. Uh, we also need to do the walls. We need to do the ceiling and the lights. You know. So that's it's all baby steps from here. We're going to get it all done up. But right now we're really happy. There's no clutter in the main area of the shop. There's a couple of things that we still need to get rid of, like that hypertherm right there. That is for sale, yeah. If anybody wants a really nice plasma cutter, this thing right here is a beast. The only reason we don't use it is because we already have the Miller plasma cutter and we have the CNC table. So this thing just sits. Yeah, but it still functions, it still works. And uh, I don't know, if we don't get rid of it, we, we will end up using it. Then we also have the little green one there too. That's a really high dollar machine. That machine right there comes straight from China. You have to pay around $4,600 for that, just that small unit. Just to ship it, yeah. put it in a container. <laughs> just to pay the taxes on it. If someone buys this one, we'll throw that one in. Yeah, there you go. If you buy this one, we'll throw in that one. Yes, sir. And that way you can have more junk around your house <laughs> instead of around our shop. But uh, look at this little Porsche right here. Who's, who's, whose whip is that, Nate? Is that your new car? Yeah, I wish. Yeah, right. That thing's nice. What do we got to do to it, Paul? Uh, it's got a little bit of damage. Right here. It's Thank actually you. worse. I didn't, I let the sun hit it the other day and I was walking by it and there's like, it's damage oh, right here. Man. So uh, what we need to do before we run down to Ben's, because Ben told us in about an hour, I think he's probably still sleeping, even though it's like three o'clock already. Uh, we need to pull in the Lincoln and uh, wet sand it real quick. That way Paul can paint it while we go help Ben. I, I, did, I never even told them what we were going to do today, did I? No, but nope. they already know. Huh? They already know, so they clicked on the video. Oh yeah. I got this little DA with an interface pad and a 600. And the reason why you want to do this is because these bumpers, when they come from the factory, they have a lot of flashing around the edges. That's where the mold meets and it creates like a little line. 
If you don't sand that off, it just looks really bad on, when, once it's painted. So uh, Paul always uh, tells us to hit it with the DA, which is a really good idea. All right, so now that we got it all sanded down, it's all ready to go into the booth. Uh, we are going to go ahead and load up the old Millermatic 211 and head on over to Ben's shop, see what he got for us. We need to put this thing outside so it can dry. Genius, Mike, genius. I love the idea. Well, what's wrong? I absolutely love the idea, Mike. Hey, you got the Mac Daddy, the Rack Daddy. What is he planning? All right, so we are here at the Tunes Garage. What you got going on, Ben? Well, right now we're actually making a custom wheel well for this Mustang because the old one was, it was, I had cut it up a little bit and I didn't really want to mush metal together to weld it. So I decided to just give it all a brand new one. Look at that bad boy. Is that wide enough? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to add a little extension piece. So we need to cut this lip off. Yeah, we're gonna cut this lip off right here and then add a uh, piece of metal from here to here and it will just get perfectly welded along that and then perfectly welded to the body. You know? Check it out, we got the bead rolled and it's looking really good. For first time ever using a bead roller, I think we did okay, what do you guys think? Did we do a pretty good job? And uh, also I'm very happy and proud that we're actually bead rolling this stuff because it's very important in my opinion. Yeah. So now basically what we need to do is uh, clean everything up and trim all the little edges because all this is rough cut and wire wheel it all and start welding it up.
Check it out. So we've got this piece right here all mocked up and ready. Uh, ben is getting his scissor jack ready. We need to push it out just a hair before we weld it. That way it kind of brings it out right here. Uh, but so far, man, it's looking really good. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. Nice little bead right here, nice and clean. Just need to surface it down real nice and then, uh, you know, weld on that wide body flare. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna put a lip on that thing or what? Mm -hmm. On the wide body flare? Yeah. Is it gonna be fully boxed? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna fully box it wherever it's at. That's gonna be a lot of fabrication. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. Yeah? So you just need to weld this up right here and then we'll trim this off and then we'll fill in this piece here. Alright, so we got the back panel all welded up and it's looking really good. I'm really happy with how much progress we got accomplished today. We basically got this entire wheel well all welded up solid. Everything is in its spot and we got this little rear chunk all welded up. So now, you know, we can go move on to building the actual flare that is going to go on the outside. You guys already got an idea of what it's going to look like. And uh, there might be a couple of small changes, like it might be a foot wider, maybe two, I don't know, but uh, very minor changes, nothing to worry about. But I'm very happy with how it turned out. What do you think, Ben? You I like it? it? It turned out way better than I thought. You know, because like, I was kind of worried about how to do this piece right here and how it would fit up, but hey, it looks good. And the fact that we bead rolled it right there added about a thousand PSI of structural strength yep. to the body. Now, everybody that's writing in comments, they got to like, they gotta retract their previous statements. All, all previous comments need to be deleted. You need to go back, if you commented something about bead rolling, yep. and just edit it and say, I'm sorry, and then come on to the new video and drop a comment about 
you know, how beautiful these beads look. Because it does look good. I'm really happy with it, man. And it's, like I said before, man, everything is very nice and tight. You know, there's not gonna be no, no uh, vibrations going on back here. So that's really good. Uh, what do you think, Ben? Are you gonna do the other side wheel well, or are you gonna try to build this flare and finish this side? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I gotta build the, do the same thing as we did over here. Work that side, do that yeah. side. And then we'll put the axle on. That would, that would be smart to get your axle and everything on. That way everything's all set up. If you think about it. Why is the man behind the camera commanding me? Hey, I, I don't well, that's know. That's what I'm you kinda, need to do. I, I'm kind of liking that idea because then you can work off of what's already going to be there. Well, then it'll be sitting on the ground too. <laughs> can you imagine, Ben, if you built all these flares and then you put your axle on it and it ain't right? That would suck. I mean, it's more content, but come on. We don't need that kind of yeah, content. Yeah, I think we will. I will go ahead and build that side. Do the same exact thing and then leave it in the stage right here. And then once we get my rear axle. Finish off the flares. Yep. I mean, this is awesome, like, dude. You can't, you can't do any much better than that, unfortunately. Most people don't even go that length to do it. They just, they leave it. Yeah, they're not worried about what it looks like underneath. You see, we're, we're looking at it, and we know it's there, so we want it to look good. I did the same thing on, uh, on, on Mark's car, and I did the same thing on uh, Andy's car. Remember that yeah. Subaru? Had to do the same thing. But it wasn't as stout as this. Nah, nowhere close. Nowhere near. Oh, that looks freaking awesome. Yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. But yeah, let us know in the comment section what you guys think about the progress so far. And if you have any tips, ideas, or tricks, let us know. We're always open to advice. And uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.